Well, hello there and hello fresh. Today we are cooking up the Taverna steak and dilly potato wedges. So this has uh, zucchini, onion, jumble, and tzatziki. Must be tzatziki sauce. Prep time, 10 minutes. Cook time, 30 minutes. Calories, 590. And uh, this is what we got with it here. So this is a two-person meal. We have 12 ounces of potatoes, a quarter ounce of dill, one zucchini, one red onion, one teaspoon dried oregano, one mini cucumber, one lemon, one clove, clove of garlic, garlic, 10 ounces of a ranch steak, one tablespoon Mediterranean spice blend, four tablespoons of yogurt, and four tablespoons of creme fraiche. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know how to pronounce that. So let's get started here. So we need to start the prep. Of course, here is the directions on the left of what you need. And uh, here is the prep. So we need to adjust the racks to the top and middle positions and preheat oven to 425 degrees. Wash and dry produce. Cut potatoes into half inch thick wedges. Pick and roughly chop fronds from dill. Trim and half zucchini lengthwise. Slice crosswise into half inch thick half moons, half and peel onion, slice into half inch thick wedges. So we are going to start with that. So this is what comes with the HelloFresh meal. This actually comes with a lot of stuff. So you can see we've got the lemon, the sour cream, all the spices, the meat, the cucumber, zucchini, more spices, potatoes, which I am going to add to, and the onion. So we're going to get started um, prepping and then we will roast the veggies. Okay, we have finished with the prep here. Now we are on to the step number two. Toss potatoes on a baking sheet with a drizzle of oil, half the dill, salt, and pepper. Roast on the top rack until browned and tender, 20 to 25 minutes. I always like to give myself the over on that, so I always like to do about 25 minutes. Toss zucchini and onion wedges on a separate baking sheet with a drizzle of oil, oregano, salt, and pepper. Roast on middle rack until browned and tender. 15 to 20 minutes. We are finished with the QR zucchini. Sorry about that. So I put, it did come with oregano, but I did put a little bit of Italian seasoning on that as well as we like that. So we are going to put this in for 15 minutes on the top rack. And then now we will attempt to prep the potatoes. All right, so now we have the potatoes prepped. Those go on the middle shelf. So we will toss this in the oven, right in the middle. Let those cook for 25 minutes. So we're on to step three. So we need to finish the prep. So while the veggies roast, trim and finely dice cucumber, zest and quarter lemon. Peel and mince or grate the garlic. Hey folks, so we have to make a little addendum here. So I clearly didn't read the directions, right? But you know what? This is hello fresh, so it's okay. So I am so used to working in a kitchen that I just sliced these onions. I did not wedge them. I've frankly never heard of wedging onions. So I sliced them and now I'm going to put these in. And I just covered essentially the zucchini, so it should give that a little bit more flavor. But, uh, okay, now we're finally on to step three. All right, we finished with step three. We got some lemon zest. We minced the garlic to the best of our ability. We diced the cucumbers to the best of our ability, and then we quartered the lemon as well, and we have some lemon zest. Then we have a little bit of dill left over, so... I like my steak rare, and this is not going to take long as they're five ounce pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the tzatziki sauce. So while the steak rests in a small bowl, combine cucumber, lemon zest, yogurt, the cream, remaining dill, juice from one lemon wedge, two wedges for four servings, and as much garlic as you like. Season with salt and pepper. So we're going to do that here next. So we have made the tzatziki we have some cucumber left over and some garlic, but that is okay. I may add just a tad bit more cucumber in here, but not much. 
And uh, now we're going to cook the steak here. So we need to pat the steak dry, season all over with half of the Mediterranean spice blend. And uh, then heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Cook steak and to the desired doneness. All right, here we go. And there we have it. So we're cooking the last steak. You can see I wanted mine just about rare, and that's about what I got. Um, not much of a steak there, but it's enough. And uh, we did have some leftovers here, so we could just keep that later. And uh, once I am done, I'm going to add this little bit of dill that's left. And then I'll just drizzle it onto the plate here. So we will revisit after we get done cooking this steak here and get these plates all set. And there we have it. Hello Fresh. So this chunk of meat was not great. So we're going to see how it goes. And uh, that's what the plates look like, though. They look really good. More than enough food to fill up the whole plate here. I'm going to try some of these onions and zucchinis here and see what they taste like. But this, so far, looks pretty good. And actually, this is one of the easiest meals I've made from HelloFresh so far. So this is the Taverna Steak and Dilly Potato Wedges with Zucchini Onion Jumble and tzatziki sauce, which we have right here. Give it a try from HelloFresh.